Hi, this is Joe Rotaski from the Elementary Math Department, and we're going to look at navigating the HCPS Elementary Math Contingency Plan. How can you access these plans? The Contingency Plan resources are located in Clever on your homepage when you log in. For a detailed video on access through Clever, please visit smathsmarts.com. On the first page of the contingency plan, you'll see a message from the superintendent. This message is for parents to let them know that students should log in to EDSBE to access specific assignments that are provided by their classroom teachers. If there are no assignments available in EDSBE, then students can click through on the appropriate e-learning links in this document to access their lessons and resources. It's recommended that students keep a paper and or digital folder of their work to submit upon return to school. How are topics selected for this plan? The plan resources align with the quarter four topics at each grade level, and these topics are based off of the Pearson Envision year at a glance. What if my class was not on this pace? The contingency plan resources include one week of a third nine weeks wrap up. And once you get to familiarize yourself with this template, you can use this template to create your own weekly plan for any topics that were not covered in this class. The contingency plan includes suggested resources that most Hillsborough County students will have access to. Teachers can then use this plan to assign these and or additional resources as you make your own plans connected to the grade level standards. How's this plan paced? The plan includes resources for five days for every week, and the plan will eventually include all of the weeks to align to each quarter four topic throughout the end of the year. How are the standards addressed? For each week, you'll see the plan includes the relevant Math Florida standards. And each of those standards are linked to our smathsmarts.com standard snapshot pages. What resources are referenced on the plan? For students with internet access, the main resource will be the Envision Interactive Student Book. Students can access this through Clever. Teachers or other stakeholders at the school sites can also assign these through the Pearson Realize app, also in Clever. For students without internet access, printable pages have been made available to all schools. Schools have been and they can print and create packets to be handed out to parents. Clicking on any of these links will also bring you to PDF versions of the pages. iReady is another resource that students can access from home. We are encouraging teachers or other stakeholders at school sites to assign relevant iReady lessons listed on this plan to their students. And of course, at any time, students may also access their My Path lessons which were assigned to them based on their diagnostic data in iReady. Additionally, in this column, Ready Toolbox resources will also be referenced. These include practice and problem solving pages, as well as primary centers. All achievement schools will continue to have access to the Ready Teacher Toolbox and these resources. Any other teachers who are interested in access to the Ready Teacher Toolbox should contact their math lead or their math coach. The final column includes links to additional web resources, as well as ideas that families can implement at home to continue to support mathematical thinking. Where can you find more support? Keep checking smathsmarts.com 
for updated posts, resources, and videos. Also check daily for an email from Jack Faley, and this might be shared from your math lead or your math coach as well. And continue to look for official guidance from our new superintendent, Addison Davis, or from Amy Zilbar.